When you're doing sewing applique, you have a lot of options for how to stitch your design. Let's take a closer look at some of these blocks to see some ideas you have on different ways to stitch your applique. Let's start down here in the corner, this happy little hippo. So this guy here is using the blanket stitch. You can see that around the edge of the fabric, the stitching is going to go on the outside edge and then bite into the fabric here, all of these little black marks. This is called a blanket stitch or an applique stitch, and it's a really popular one. And you'll also notice that this person used black thread, which really shows the, where the edge of each of those fabric pieces are. So that is a way if you really want your project to stand out and to have kind of clear lines, um, having a really high contrasting thread is an awesome choice. Now next to it, we have this happy little fox. And you'll see if we get in a little closer, this is a really tight zigzag and they used white thread on the entire project. Again, it really contrasts nicely with the orange here. And you'll see that when they did the zigzag, they roughly centered the stitching on the edge of their fabric so that it makes sure that the stitch goes on the background fabric as well as on the top fabric, meaning that your fabric is going to stay nice and secure. Here's an example of using some matching thread colors. This person also did that blanket stitch where you can see it go around the edge and biting into the fabric. And they matched each color piece of fabric to thread that went with it. Um, so that is a nice way. It just, it blends in and it really makes the stitching not be so prominent. It's really looking at all the colors of the design. You can also add in some fun fabrics. So this happy mousse, this, uh, this fabric here is actually cork, which has a fun texture and just add something a little fun to your design. So don't be afraid to try some different designs here. This one is also a blanket stitch. Here's an example using a different kind of stitch. This is what we would consider raw edge applique. So if I get in close here, you'll see this is a straight stitch that is on the top fabric, securing it to the background piece of fabric. It's just a straight stitch and then the fabric on the outside of it is raw. So I would call that raw edge applique. It does mean you can get some fraying, um, but that is not necessarily a bad thing. Maybe that is just part of the look you're going for. Maybe this is a, a really easy for way for you to do it or just gives it kind of a fun, uh, more raw look. So that's raw edge applique. Again, there are no rules. You can do whatever you wish. Make your own designs here. Here up here, we've got the zebra. This is a really tight satin stitch. So this is a really tight zigzag stitch, which we call a satin stitch. And it kind of gives the appearance of just a really thick, solid line of stitching. So really, really tight zigzag gets that effect. Um, so that is really fun to use for applique. Just be forewarned, that does take a bit longer because you're using a lot of thread going back and forth a lot. This is fun too. When you're doing applique, you can add some fun texture. So same thing with the cork. We have some tassel here and this person just stitched down on this body of the tassel. And then you have all this fun, uh, fun fray that shows up on this happy little llama. And then one other example, this is just a fun decorative stitch. So if I look closely on this wing here, we have some pink thread that complements nicely. And this is just a fun decorative stitch that goes all the way around. So don't be afraid to try different stitches you have on your machine. Maybe do just a little sample piece and see how you like it. But just there are so many possibilities. Again, thinking about thread color, we have the bird here. We've got black around the body, but then you'll see around the beak, they did this variegated thread. So you see the thread changing colors as the stitching goes through, which is variegated thread. Um, really fun effect and kind of accents just the colorfulness of this bird. So there are so many ideas here for you to use. Don't be afraid to try blanket stitch, satin stitch, different colors, all kinds of possibilities and really make it your own. This quilt here is Zootropolis by Sassafras Lane Designs. And it was put together as a baby, uh, baby shower gift and every person did an individual block, which is why we have a lot of fun variety and individuality in all of these animals. So awesome idea. Um, so we hope you guys get a little bit of inspiration from this and we'd love to see some of your appliques. If you have a question on sewing applique, uh, leave it in the comments and we hope to see you soon.